The most hectic thing I saw in prison was definitely uh, a murders. I've seen uh, two of them happen. And, um, mate, I'll tell you something now, um, not good for the head the whole watch and seeing that sort of stuff. That and, and some of the really, really fucking bad stabbings you get to see. And um, sort of you have nightmares over it for a long time after it causes a really bad trauma, you know. Um, very sad to see that fucking people have to go to them lengths to fucking do what they got to do. And it's, um, that's seeing humanity. Can you imagine that? Seeing humanity at its worst doing that, you know. Um, crazy, crazy. It's, um, the thing is, you, you know, you, there's a thing that happens in your mind with that sort of thing. You don't want to know who it is. You, you, you don't do this thing where you blank it out and you don't even remember who did it. Because um, you don't want fucking, you don't want to get pulled into it. You don't want fucking no drama and that sort of thing. Because if they're going to kill that person, they'll fucking kill you as well. Not a problem. That's what the, these people will do. So, seen a couple of them. Well, the worst one I've seen was when the Vietnamese turned on their own, one of their own, and they were all committed. So there was about fifty of them, and they all had to take part in it. So I had stabbed this guy about three times, and um, there wasn't a lot left of that guy when they finished. It was fucking extremely, extremely brutal. You don't fuck with the Vietnamese. Um, very peaceful people in there, mind their own business, but you don't fuck with them. You know what I mean? They they are fucking serious fucking people. Um, I've seen that. I've seen one of them get one of their own who turned out to be uh, no good. He uh, he was telling on them, and they they realised what he was up to, and. Um, Thing is with that, they sort of groomed him, they sort of lured him in. They actually, he come from another jail, they told him it was all right. It took him about six months to get that guy settled to do what they wanted to do to him. And, um, fucking crazy, man, so crazy. And, um, you go to your celibate night time after those sorts of things and you fucking really, really reflect, is this what you want in your life? And, um, certainly wasn't for me. It certainly wasn't for me seeing that sort of thing. And, you know, I have, you have nightmares. You see, it, it comes back to you in your dreams and, it gets replayed in your dreams and fuck, it's not the nicest fucking thing to be waking up to in the middle of the night seeing those sorts of things but um it's all those young fellas that want to be gangsters and think it's cool and all that that's not fucking cool that's fucking not cool that's fucking not cool at all man I think it's funny it's not fucking funny that's not funny at all it's not good for your head and as you get older and older you realise how fucking bad it is for your head and so you spend for me it's, I spent you know that's a big part of what I do now is all that trauma stuff get rid of that fucking poison out of my head. Anyway, I'm not here that I don't glorify crime or fucking prison one bit. I'm fucking telling you the truth. I'm telling you the reality of it. Stop shit, don't do it.